Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, y'all want to know what we're doing today? We're doing Sloppy Joe's Baked Potatoes. Sloppy Joe's Baked Potatoes. So let's get right into it. Hold up. Before we get too far in this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you have not followed my social medias, I'm going to make sure it's popping up right here. Let's get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and put all the ingredients on the screen. If you're doing two pounds like me, then you will need eight rusted potatoes. If not... Four, one pound of turkey ground is fine. Scrub, 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 scrub it up. Now, let's get to poking. <laughs> so you're gonna just poke around. Extra virgin olive oil, the smooth taste. Um, just I suggest you use olive oil, make it a little bit more healthier. So it says that you're going to, well, so you're going to rub your potatoes in the, with the oil all around them. And you don't need a lot of oil on every potato because oil stretches. And you're going to get some salt, table salt, whatever salt. We're going to salt them again though. I'm going to take your oily and Okay, y'all see I put the foil down. Now we're going to just place them on there. Okay, so while that is in the oven, you're going to set your timer to about 30 minutes. While these potatoes are in the oven, you're going to go ahead and place your um, saute pan on the stove. It doesn't have to be evenly, but you're going to use two tablespoons of butter. I am using country I am using country crock, but you can use whatever butter that you as your butter melt completely. I went ahead and I prepped one onion and I cut up some jalapenos. I'm not really using much jalapenos only because you know I cook with a lot of spice already whenever it goes to seasoning. You're going to go ahead and put your onions and your jalapenos in your in your saute pan. You can go ahead and stir it around a bit and just let it stay here for about five to eight minutes. Now it's time to add our ground turkey. Gonna let that just submerge itself inside of there. As you do um, cook your turkey ground, try to make sure you're chopping it up as you go. Two thirds of a cup of um, Hunt's ketchup. We have two tablespoons of brown sugar. We have one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. If you don't have apple cider vinegar, regular vin white distilled vinegar should be fine. Um, we have one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I don't know how you properly say it, but 
please don't roast me in the comments. Um, other than that, we have one teaspoon of DiGiorno mustard and we have um, one tablespoon of hot sauce or if you want more hot sauce, you can go ahead and add more to your taste. It's all about your taste buds. Whew. And here we have some cayenne pepper, some onion powder, some garlic powder, some paprika, some Tony Sachery, some black pepper, and some slap your mammy. Not your pappy, but your mammy. But let's get to this turkey ground. Other than that, we're going to pour the seasoning up in there. I'm going to go ahead and start mixing it up. Just mixing it up. Carefully, of course. And then... We're going to add our little concoction. <laughs> and we're going to stir that up. Always taste your food. Let's see how it's going to come out. I know y'all see that steam. Okay, I'm not trying to burn my mouth. That right here? Super good. Super pressure. And everything. Baked it on one side for 30 minutes and then the other side for another 30 minutes. So it's time to cut into this bad boy. So we're going to cut it. Oh, it's hot. Okay, so I just went ahead and do... I did two or three of them on camera with you guys and then the rest I just did off camera. Put them back in the oven for maybe five minutes. That about wraps up this video. If you have not, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow my social media. It's going to be popping up right here. Other than that, see you till next time. Peace.